Hello, this is Landon from Design Visionaries, and in this video I want to show you a little bit about ordinate dimensioning. Now, ordinate dimensioning is a little bit different than just your typical linear dimension. Uh, what it does is it essentially puts an origin down on the drawing, and then from that origin you can dimension the various components or features in your part that uh, show the distance from that origin so that uh, when it's being manufactured, uh, it might make it easier than having to measure out where it is since they can simply go a certain length from the origin to place like a hole or something. So uh, what I have here is just the back case of some little device uh, that I just threw together really quickly. And what I want to do is I want to dimension uh, these two holes here, this large one and the small one. And I want to dimension them from the origin that's going to be in the uh, intersection point between these two edges. So the first thing I want to do is I probably want to stick on an intersection symbol that I can reference with the origin tool. So I'll choose intersection symbol and as here you can see here it says uh, select set one and two. So the first set's just going to be this edge and it jumps down here to the second set and I'm going to click this edge. And you, you can see it put a little intersection symbol here for me to use which I can select on uh, if I need to use it for other things other than what I'm going to use which is the ordinate. So the ordinate dimension uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to put down the ordinate. Uh, it automatically selected this I think it's because I had my point here previously um, but if you do need to select it uh, normally it will let you select on this intersection point here to get the uh, selection here. Uh, now on the drawing I actually want it to show the coordinates of this origin. I want to just say zero zero uh, just to let uh, anyone know who's looking at this drawing that that is the zero zero x zero and y zero ordinate of where the uh, ordinate dimensions are going to start the origin. So to start uh, it's asking me for to select an object since I'm going to be specifying the origin I'm just going to select on this intersection point that I've created. And as you can see it lets me place out a uh, zero, this is the x zero, and I also want to show a, a y zero. So you can activate baseline and activate perpendicular. So I want perpendicular dimension on. This way I get both zeros. Uh, you'll notice my zero is sideways down here. I don't really like that. So I can click settings and go down here to uh, the text orientation location. Just make sure it's horizontal. Hit close. If you have customer defaults, that might already be set for you, but if you need to do it on the fly, that's how you do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my origin. I'll just set those zeros right about here. So now I have a nice origin for my ordinate dimensioning I'm going to be using. So now that I have that in place, I can click ordinate dimension again. I'm gonna select my origin. It's still sitting on the original spot. I'll just select it so I can proceed to the next. Um, and the next thing I want to do is actually select what I'm going to be dimensioning. So for this, I want to dimension this hole here. So I'm going to go ahead and click the center mark. And as you can see, I can specify the baseline uh, dimension going from here to here. Uh, and then I can turn on perpendicular. So if I wanted to do a perpendicular dimension like so, I can place those in. Um, I think I actually want to change the uh, orientation there. There we go. So that orientation has changed. And now we have a dimension from the center origin to this hole. It's 15 millimeters up this way and 24 across. And finally, I just want to stick in one more ordinate. And I'm going to select this origin again. I could actually stick another one here and then ordinate from that, but I want to use the center just to make things easier. And I'm going to select this. As you can see, it will pop over onto this side. Uh, let me fix the alignment again. Uh, it will pop over to this side and show you the dimensions of the hole over here. And there you go. And that's basically the the how you use ordinate dimension. Uh, there's really not a whole lot to this. You can specify some of the uh, margins here uh, by clicking this. And if you really want to change the uh, layout and look of it, you can also, um, when you edit it, I think even while you're placing it, you have some control over the little 
uh, arrow boxes here. You can choose how far the number goes across and you can also add append some text in this little window here. It's very handy. So if I uh, wanted to add some notes, I could just type something there and it will come up. Again, this is Landon Ritchie from Design Visionaries and this was how to use the ordinate dimension. Thank you.